folks. I hope you're well. I hope you and your family are doing good. Um, I am back with another one, finally, after a, a long, long time since uh, since the last video. Um, I am not here to make excuses as to why I haven't uploaded. Um, I don't or didn't feel this channel is something that's like a flash in the pan sort of thing um and you know i i got bored or anything like that i have remained passionate about helping other people or hopefully helping other people in any way i can um who are suffering with mental health and addiction um in particular gambling addiction and so the passion has always remained there um, but the uploads have become less and less frequent and then a massive stint since Christmas um, without one. Um, I, as everyone does, um, I have had things pop up in, the li in, in my life um, and I've also not been too good mentally. Um, I think the easiest thing to do at that stage is for me, to, well at this stage is for me to blame everything on that, but there has been times where I have put other things first, um, and that's just being honest, you know, uh, rather than get a video put out there, and that's not that I don't care, I, I sometimes get into the stage where I feel I want to put a video out, but I don't want to just ramble and talk a load of rubbish. I want it to be of value to someone and really, hopefully, try and help someone. And so, when I I could just do a video every day, really, um, but I want them to be sort of quality videos, something someone can get something out of. Um, and so, for me. It is a fine line be be between uploading regular enough um, on a YouTube side of it to keep the recommendations, uh, you know, thriving in the algorithm. Um, and obviously that means the videos are more likely to reach people who are uh, possibly struggling with addiction. But also not just putting anything out there. And so that's... A position I've found myself in on more than one occasion since the last upload. Um, when I've had the time and availability to upload a video. On top of that, we, me and my wife, we did have a miscarriage. Um, we lost a baby. Our baby at um, between seven and eight weeks pregnant. That, it, it, you know, it hit us like a train. Um, there's there's no other way of saying it really it really did affect us and obviously um making videos in that time it wasn't of a top of my list of priorities um but then again you know we've still got things happening now but i just thought now is the time that i really need to put a video out get back into recording um i haven't got the sort of hiccups in the way of in terms of filming um, videos and and editing the videos that I once had now um, and I've got additional equipment that I've that I've acquired to help um, with with filming and recording and editing um, videos so I'm just hoping that I'm not I'm not um, gonna sit here and say please come back to my channel next Monday there will be a video at 10 p.m. I'm just hoping that I can start of you know sort of start to have some sort of regularity in my videos um, because it, like I said it earlier on I'm really really passionate about trying to help other people going through addiction and in particular gambling addiction um, and mental health really um, and so this is something that you know I am passionate about I want to do and hopefully I can you know now I've acquired the right equipment 
um, which will make it easier and more convenient as well um, when I do get busy to record um, then I can start to have some regularity in the videos so yeah there has been a lot going off in you know my life I have struggled mentally um, I've struggled with um, certain aspects of our circumstances which is as a result of my gambling addiction um, but there are positives and you know hopefully within the next three or four weeks I'm going to be working within gambling addiction um, as a job um, on sort of a part-time basis um, that is something that again I'm really really passionate about um, so hopefully that does come off um, and a lot of that is you know from doing this channel really you know from wanting to help other people um, so I've got to go for an interview for that um, I have been shortlisted for you know for the role so hopefully that is something that comes off um, and you know I've, I've done various uh, radio interviews and TV and things like that in the month since the last upload but it is something that you know this is the heartbeat of it really I really want to um, continue to do these videos and, and help people as much as I uh, I possibly can so I'll um, I'll leave it there folks and I will um, catch up on the next video with you there are some topics in which I wish to discuss um, I think some of it is new um, but also some of it may be what I've touched on before but not gone into a lot um, and hopefully they can help people you know as I always say that's that's my one hope that they at least help even just one person um, and yeah I'll, I'll leave it there folks I know I'm rambling as I always say um, I just want you to uh, the reason I've picked this for a filming spot is um, I, I have been doing a, a lot of filming lately you know a lot of filming um, sorry a lot of thinking lately um, about the past and about my mistakes and and sort of the bad um, decisions I've made in, in, in my life um, and <clears throat> I have found it at times difficult to move forward as a result of my past. Um, but I just say, you know, I was just looking around this area and I just saw a dark cloud. Um, and I just thought, film. Film the video with the dark cloud behind me. And get it out there that there is a dark cloud if you are recovering from gambling addiction and it has caused a load of mayhem or any addiction and I just thought there is a dark cloud out there in your you know behind you you have potentially caused a lot of problems you may have uh, caused split split ups in the family or your relationships or financial damage to your family but if we always turn and um, try to move forward and let that cloud pull us back, then we're not progressing. We're not going anywhere. And for me, I struggle with that all the time. But for me, now, personally, I need to look forward. I need to turn away from that cloud that's behind me. And instead of looking at it and, and picking apart what I could have done different and um, if I'd not done this and why did I do that like I do, I think if I managed to turn around and face forward and look into the future and to the blue sky ahead, then it, it's something that will benefit not just me but those around me and those around yourself your families, your wife, your husband and I think that's something just in this last 20 minutes um, looking at that cloud 
I've I've realised that I've not just been looking at the cloud for twenty minutes. I've been looking at that cloud for three and a half years that I've been in recovery from gambling addiction. I'm regretting everything in that cloud of darkness, what gambling addiction caused. So I think now, and hopefully you see this on videos going forward, a difference in that I am able to turn around and look towards the future, look towards that blue sky and keep walking down that path of a better recovery and a brighter future, not just for me, not just for you, if it's yourself who's doing this, um, but for our families as well and our, the, you know, the people who mean the most to us. But yeah, sorry to keep rambling. I have been away. I do apologise. I've been away for a long, long time. Um, I am back. I'm not going to promise regular content because last time I did that, I had six months away. So I can only say to you folks that I will upload as often um, as I can with as much quality inside the videos and value inside the videos um, as I can and uh, I will catch you on the next one folks and uh, I wish you all the best in the meantime cheers